the Honourable Artillery Company approaching. Part of the great representation of the British Army in this procession. Flanking the Queen's coffin. On either side, we have the bearer party from the Queen's company, 1st Battalion Grenadier Guards, and with the distinctive white plumes, the gentlemen at arms behind them, equally distinctive in their Tudor uniform, the yeoman of the guard. Scots Guards and Coldstream Guards. We have just about a view there of the Earl Marshal, gentleman in the glasses, uh, the Earl Marshal, Duke of Norfolk, the, the man who's in charge of the organization of state events, state funerals, coronations. It's a hereditary role. It's the 18th Duke of Norfolk. And uh, he's, he's the one who's shouldered a lot of the responsibility for making sure that this state funeral happens in accordance with Her Late Majesty's wishes. Center with the white plumes, we have the Major General commanding the Household Division, troops of the London District, Major General Christopher Geeker, who's in command of all the troops in procession today and elsewhere, lining the route and taking part not just in the procession itself. great funeral marches, so familiar of course, by Mendelssohn and Beethoven and Chopin. This state gun carriage has been in the Navy's care since 1901. It was first reserved for the funeral of Queen Victoria more than a century ago. And has been used since then. It was the same state gun carriage used for the funeral of King George VI 70 years ago. of foot guards, their distinctive tunics, Welsh, Irish, Scots and Grenadiers, 
and the Constream Guards.